What is going on everyone? Darkside Phil here. And I am here live on the release night of the PlayStation VR. No lie, it arrived. It was delivered here at my home in Washington less than an hour ago. And people have been so intrigued and so interested in knowing how this thing performs and what is it all about and are there good games for it. I had to get it on release day. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm actually live streaming this video that you're watching. You could be watching this on stream or on demand on YouTube. Um, I'm going to do a few things tonight. The first thing I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to unbox live the PlayStation VR and give you obviously my reactions to everything that comes in the box and all of that. Okay, then I'm going to do a setup video where I'm going to rearrange my webcam here to go down and show you hooking up, show me hooking it up to the PS4 and trying to get it to adjust it with the PS camera and all of that. That's probably going to be a long video, I'm thinking, because I've heard this thing can be quite, uh, quite a chore to adjust and get it working properly. And then after that, I'm going to be messing with the demo disc that came with it, apparently it comes with a demo disc that has over 10 different games featured, alright? Now, I don't know if I'm going to get to all those games tonight, because it is late here, it's actually past 7pm already here, um, but we'll see. And here's the thing, give, you, give me your feedback on what you see here, what you like, what you don't like, because it's all about interaction. And based on what you see, let me know what games you think I, would be good for this thing, because I'm going to be playing this thing for a couple days here, and I definitely want to know your feedback on what I should be doing with the PSVR. Okay. All right. So without further ado, here it is. Now to make this this clear, this is the three hundred and ninety nine dollar model of the PlayStation VR. This is not the more expensive model. Now, why did I get this instead of the more expensive model? Because the only extra thing that the more expensive model comes with is the PlayStation 4 camera, which I already have. I bought that at the launch of PS4, and it comes with two move controllers. Now, originally, I wasn't going to use move controllers at all with this thing, but then people were like, oh man, Phil, did you hear that it's been announced over the past couple of weeks that there's a couple games that really need the move controllers, and if you don't have them, and you're trying to use just your regular PS4 pad you don't get the full range of experience it doesn't feel like you're controlling two hands or whatever but i'll be honest with everyone i was burnt by the ps move i was burnt i bought it and i played it like a few games with it and i never used it again it just sat there and collected dust for two years and i threw it out i never had any inkling that they would actually be using it again for something else so i had no desire to buy ps move all right i was not going to do it super duper shout out before we even touch this thing to michael a viewer of mine who bought two ps move controllers and sent them here to me so that I could use PS Move with this thing because I was not giving Sony any more of my money for that shit. But thank you to Michael, awesome viewer and fan. That is so awesome. And now we all get to see me use these things this week. So that was really cool of him. All right, let's unbox it. So first of all, let's take a look at it. As you can see, this is the front. And the front has this nice picture of the PS you know, VR. Here's a side, pretty bland. On this side, you actually got some stuff. You've got some advertisements. I know that you're not going to be able to read the text and everything because my lighting is going to glare it and everything. But an advertisement for uh, Batman Arkham Knight VR. Or is it Arkham VR? Batman Arkham VR, not Arkham Knight, Arkham VR. Uh, this game called PlayStation VR Worlds. And it looks like there's a shark. There's some guy coming at you that looks really fucking bizarre. There's some space shit on it. I don't even know what some of that stuff is. Is that alien? I have no idea. I guess we're going to find out. And then it says, coming next year, this game called Farpoint. I think that's the game where you're supposed to be on Mars. You're exploring Mars in, in virtual reality or something like that. Okay. Um, and then on the back, nothing. Just warnings. And it says, oh, by the way, to use this, you need the PS camera, a PS4, and a controller. Well, damn it. I have the camera and the controller. If only I had a PS4, I could use this thing. <laughs> All right, let's unbox it. So. That's what it looks like. PlayStation logo. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to take out is whatever this is. Well, maybe not. I thought I was a box on top that I could lift. It's not. I think this piece of plastic holds it all intact. I might just turn the whole box upside down and let it slip out. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Yep. That was the, the correct course of action. So this is empty now. That was the correct course of action, because here it is, this big-ass box with a piece of plastic around it, I guess, to hold it together so it doesn't fall apart in shipping. All right. So, try to... Here we go. Get this plastic protective strip off of it. 
Hobbs has a belt later. Jordy LaForge uh, eyewear. Get that out of here. Okay. So this is weird. Look, the box is a, is two triangles. Uh-oh. I wonder if I could lift it up. I'm just curious. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Look at this. So here we go. So if I can hold it and do it. Here we go. Ooh, fancy. Fancy presentation, right? It's a triangular-shaped box. Okay. So on top here is a giant floppy quick start guide. Very floppy. Um, I'm assuming this is going to give you the instructions on how to actually get this thing to work with your PlayStation 4. And it actually lists all the stuff that's supposed to be in the box. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cables. Okay, this could be interesting. Six cables. I'm not going to look at this yet. Put this to the side. Okay. So now we've got several smaller boxes on the inside. Look at that. And I'm assuming each box is probably going to have pieces of the peripherals. Um, let's take a look here. First, we'll take off the smallest box. Here's the smallest box. Looks like there's probably just a cable in it. It's a standard power cable. <laughs> this giant box for a standard power cable, that's what they had to put it in. Okay. Thrilling. I really needed that. Okay, that goes to the side. Alright, the next box. The next biggest box. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't do the next biggest box. The next biggest box is attached to what's underneath. I can't lift it up, so I actually have to take this one out first, this side. Okay, oh, and I can see some stuff in there. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. But let's see what's inside of this. It's heavy. This is probably, this might be the processor unit. Or maybe it could be the power block, too. I don't know. Let's see. This looks like the processor unit. Okay, oh, there's a lot of stuff in this box. There's a lot of stuff. So, on top here, we've got... What appears to be a USB cable. It's a no, it's actually number two. It's a number two, so it's a USB cable of some sort. We've got a PlayStation VR instruction manual. Put that to the side. I believe these are the earbuds that come with the PSVR. Now this, I actually, I want to look at this right now. Because this is the standard headphones it comes with. Apparently, from what I'm hearing, whoa, actually there's a lot of attachments. Let me be careful here, I don't drop them. Um... For what I'm going to understand, you could use any standard 3mm uh, jack, which is the description of this jack, headset with the PSVR. And apparently, this thing has built in a processor unit that creates 3D generated audio. So basically, any headphones turn into surround sound headphones with this thing, if it works. We'll have to see. So these come with it, and it's just little, look at this, little standard earbuds. And they actually come pre-knotted. Look at that. A nice pre-knot. That's nice. I'm going to be using these tonight with the PSVR. Um, I'm just going to go with what's stock. Now, I have other headphones I want to use with it eventually, but I want to mess with these tonight and see what the quality of these headphones are. Now, this is weird. You've got to see this. This is left or right, or it doesn't matter. This is left. Look how these headphones are. This one, the cord is connected super close to the left earbud. So you have to put it in like that and then dangle it around like this. And those are your headphones, okay? Instead of a standard headphone, which would have the cord, like, in the middle, it's, like, dangling off the side. That's kind of weird. And I'm assuming this plugs into the actual VR headset. So, so there's your head, there's your earbuds. Now, it also comes with uh, these little attachments. And I've seen these before. These are for different size ears. If you have really small or really big ears, you could put these on. This is the middle size, I'm assuming. The at, like almost, One size fits most. These are for bigger or smaller ears. So we'll see. But okay. There you go. What else? This is only the, the second box. Let's keep going. Here's way more in here. Um, oh, crap. Something just flipped out. It looks like there is a... This fell out. This looks like a wiping cloth. Probably for the lenses on the inside of the PlayStation VR headset itself. So a cloth to wipe the eye, eye pieces. Okay. We've got the actual power block. There it is. The power block is what the power cord goes into. All right. And 
This is, this in all essence is the actual PSVR. This is the extra processing block that needs to sit next to your PS4 and allows you to get virtual reality. And I'm taking a look at it initially, what I see here, it's got uh, HDMI to your TV, it says right there, HDMI to your PS4. So your PS, that'll go out to your PS4, okay? Um, whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what the heck? Look at this. So when I do that, look at this. On the back here, we've got what appears to be one of these is regular HDMI and one of them is some odd proprietary connection. Maybe that's how it connects. I don't know. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm going to have to read the instructions. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, on the back, you've got a little ventilation fan that has a sticker on. I'll have to take that off. That's where you plug your power cable in, obviously. And then here there's that a uh, USB cord. I don't know what that is for. Uh, we'll find out. Maybe it plugs in via USB or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, I don't know why it does that, but that's what it does. Okay. So, that's the processing box itself. So people are saying I broke it. There you go. All right. I should, I should pack all that hair. Stack all this stuff back in there. For now. So that's this box, the smaller box. Let me put that to the side now. Holy crap, how much stuff does this have in it? A lot of stuff. What is this? What is going on? All right. Um. What else? Oh my God. So here's what you've got now in the box. That's what it looks like now. Okay. This is an HDMI cable. Standard HDMI cable, labeled 1. Oh, brother. This is probably one of the weird cables for the thing. Um... Yeah. This is going to plug into the back of the unit. I can already see it's got that proprietary connection I was talking about right there. It's got the HDMI connection right there. And on the other end of it, it what is this? What this? Maybe this plugs, I think this plugs directly into the back of the PSVR possibly. And here's a cable. It looks pretty long. The cable looks like it's going to be pretty long. It should be long enough to go across my office. So that's the cable that actually plugs into the VR headset right there. Okay. Uh-oh, listen. The disc is loose, great. So the demo disc, I'm actually looking at the back of the case right now. It says that it has demos for the following games. Eve Valkyrie, Drive Club VR, Riggs Enhanced Combat League, Battle Zone, Headmaster, uh, Wayward Sky, Until Dawn Rush of Blood, PlayStation VR Worlds, and Tumble VR. Now, I don't know if it has more than that, but that's what it's listing on the back of the box. Oh, God, sorry about that glare. That's what it's listing on the back of the box. Okay? There you go. So, and a loose disc, so hopefully the demo disc is intact and not fucking destroyed because it's loose in the box. Great. Um, all right, now... Now I gotta figure out how to get this out, right? So I guess I grab... Oh, my God. I guess I grab this and I pull... Oh, that must be it underneath. This is it. Okay. I don't see, before I do this, I don't see anything else. I think that's it. That's it. That's everything in the box. So I can put this aside now. And now we're actually going to take a look at this headset for the first time. Oh my god, there's a Microsoft Connect inside. Unbelievable. I'm going to fucking 
quick curse these guys out. All right, that was a bad joke. Here we go. Okay. So what do we got? Oh my god. I don't even know how to put this thing on. I guess it goes on like... I see there's a... No we gotta see this thing. Look at it. So, there's a nose hole for my giant effing nose. It goes right there. Maybe it has a, a, a actual scent thing that sprays scents up your nose. That'd be nice. Um, here's your eyes. And I think there's protective like plastic over the eye holes there. Right? And all this is soft rubber. You can see this? Show you... Uh, Oh, here we go. See, look. It's all soft rubber that bends and contorts to your face. Probably meant to block out all light around your face and completely black out. So that way you don't get any, like, the, my, my camera or my, uh, my, my lamp over there, right? Okay. So, let me... I'm just... For the very first time, I'm going to put it on my head. All right? I want to put this thing on my head. I swear to God, this thing fucking breaks. I'm going to go nuts. It better not. I don't know how you adjust it yet. I'm sure you could, but I don't know how... Oh, God, it's making a noise. It's making a really bizarre noise. All right, I'm going to put it on my head. Let's see. Let's see what the hell... It doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit at all. Um, there's got to be some kind of a release mechanism to make it bigger. Because there is no way this thing's going to fit on the top of my head. Look. It does... <laughs> I guess maybe I should read the instructions first before I try to do this because uh, I don't know how to loosen it, how to make it like stretch out and get, it looks like there is a strap of thing to make it wider and I don't know how to do that. Um, hmm. All I, oh, oh, there's a button here. No, it doesn't do anything. There's also a, a twisty knob thing. I don't know what that does. I'm going to have to read the manual. Yeah, I have no idea. Sucks I wanted to put it on my head, but... Just to see how it looked and how it felt, but it doesn't fit on my head. Alright, hold on. Where are the instructions? Here are the handy-dandy instructions. Here we go. Let's see. Aha. It's called the adjustment dial and the headband release button. It has a headband release button. It doesn't explain. Let's see if it says how to use it. All this is care and cleaning. It doesn't explain how to use it. It actually doesn't. In these instructions, there's no explanation of how to use it. Wow. Alright, screw that. Let's look at this big floppy quick start guide. It's actually telling you the order to plug everything in, which we're going to do in a moment. That's what we're going to be doing next after I finish with this. Oh, brother, this looks interesting. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tells you how to do it right here. So I'm going to read this and try to figure it out. Let's see. While pressing the headband release button A, pull the headband B back to remove it. So while holding this button, pull the headband back. Uh... Whoa! Okay. But it snaps right back. I mean, that's interesting. But it snaps right back, so how am I going to get this on my head? Huh. Let's see. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, I've got it on. I can't see a damned thing. <laughs> I don't know how this looks. 
Hello. It blocks almost all the light. I'll say that almost all. I can see a little bit of light actually like from my nose coming up into it and it's reflecting a tiny bit. But for the most part, it's almost a total blackout. So that's good. I'm sure once the screens turn on, it should look a lot better. Okay, well, I got it on my head at least. All right. So I guess what I'll do here is before we start to hook it up, I think I should try to remove some of these things, like these little plastic pieces on the inside. Look at that. Get that off. People are saying it looks better than my Sonic hat. I take massive offense at that. I love that Sonic hat. All right. Who said I look like Daft Punk? <laughs> Here's the other one. Um, we've got a few of them. There's one here. Sony. So, pretending this of all things, the Sony label needed a sticker. The Sony insignia needed a sticker. To it's so important. Here, the PlayStation logo needs a protective sticker. It's very important. Make sure that that doesn't get damaged. The rest of the unit, eh, you need to smash it with a hammer. As long as that looks good, that nice shiny PlayStation right there, you're good. Okay. That was silly. All right. Any other plastic anywhere? Oh, yeah, there's another one. Another PlayStation symbol over here. Let me get that off. This is ridiculous. All right. Anything else? Any other... Oh, there's actually... Wow. There's a button. I didn't even see this. There's a button underneath it here. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Don't... You, I swear to God if this thing breaks. There's a button. I don't know what it does. Maybe it turns it on and off. I don't know. There's a little speaker. A built-in speaker here, too. I guess maybe that takes your voice. If it, Games that need your input, your voice. It's probably a microphone, not a speaker, is what I'm thinking. Um, hmm. Okay. So, one more time. Let me put on my head. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to see the weight. Because I'm really curious about the weight. First of all, I do have to say this. It actually is comfortable somewhat. Um, having it sit on my head, the only... Th I feel pressure right here, like right above my eyes, like near my eyebrows, which is kind of weird. Like there's some plastic there, something that's touching me. And I feel pressure right here underneath but everything like i don't feel a lot of pressure on my head or anything the pad is nice it it definitely has some weight to it it has some weight to it and i'm curious after playing with this thing for a little while um is it gonna bother me you know what i mean like is it gonna start to oh man having this oh, you never have anything on your head besides headphones when you're playing games you don't have any significant weight so i don't know and the other thing is headphones that's another important thing right so look see that so if I have headphones on over this, right, the headphones have to fit. And I'm worried, see that? Will headphones that I own even fit over this thing and not, you know, not be smashing it or crushing it or I don't know. So that's an important factor, I guess. Actually, right now, I'm in blackout. I don't see any light inside of the PSVR. That's pretty cool. So it did actually, after wearing it for like a minute there, it settled onto my face. Do I have any marks or anything from it? Nah, just my hair's messed up. Uh, right here, it's really weird. I feel pressure right here on my head from wearing it. And right here, those are the two points that I feel pressure. It must be like where the rubber touches your face the most. So, all right. So there it is. The PlayStation VR unboxed for you. I hope you enjoyed that. A lot of people are saying the audio of this video is out of sync slightly. I apologize for that. It was in sync a day or two ago when I did a vlog, and now apparently my audio is out of sync. Whatever. I just give up. I don't care anymore. Um, but yeah, there it is. Hopefully you liked it. That's everything that comes in the box. You know what? One final thing we'll do. Let's actually open the demo disc, because the damn thing is bouncing around inside of there. And I obviously want to get it to stop bouncing all over the box, so that uh, we actually have a working demo disc. This will be the last thing I do in the unboxing. Okay. Oh yeah, look, here's my here's my disc. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Sony. Thanks for firmly securing my disc onto here. Wow. I hope this thing still works. Because I'm not gonna just buy games willy-nilly without testing them. That would be ridiculous. 
So there it is. There's your PSVR demo disc. All right. Now actually on the fucking case. Here's an ad for Riggs. This is one of the games someone actually recommended I ch try this game out. Riggs looks like a combat game. Uh, Mechanized Combat League available now. On the other side, an ad for that Far Point game, the one I think where you're on Mars. I think that's what they said. It was Mars at E3. Uh, and there's like, aliens and stuff you fight with it. So, And that's it. That's what's inside. Nothing. There ain't no, nothing at all. Not even, not even the epilepsy warning. Oh, you know why? Because they put that shit on the back now. I forgot about that. All these games have the epilepsy warning on the back. So there you go. Okay? Cool. That would be pretty awesome. All right. That is your unboxing of the PlayStation VR. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm now going to set up to get this thing hooked up. And that's going to be uh, an undertaking of its own. So bear with me if you're watching live on stream. I'll be right back with that. If not, if you're watching on YouTube, it'll be a separate video. Go check that out. Thanks for watching the unboxing, everyone. Hope you had fun. Even if the audio was slightly desynced, I hope you still enjoyed it.